Okay, my friends, in this video, I'm going to explain to you something that I really wish I had known when I first started growing cucumbers. Because I wanted to grow them for pickles and also for eating. And I had no idea that there were dramatic differences between the types of cucumbers and their properties. So I'm going to explain it right now. There are essentially pickling cucumbers and slicers. That's what we'll call it, okay? So and they're very distinct. Now, the slicer cucumber is going to be that classic kind of long with, with the sweet sort of flesh, and they generally have thicker skins, and as the name implies, they're designed for fresh eating, for slicing and eating fresh. So for your cucumber salads or cucumber raita, the Indian thing, or any kind of thing, you know, tzatziki, whatever you wanna make, and put the cucumbers in, you're gonna want a slicer, okay? As opposed to a uh, pickling cucumber. Now the pickling cucumbers are designed, as the name implies, for pickling. So they've been bred to have very thin skin, so it can soak up the pickling brine very easily. And now here's the most important thing. The pickling cucumbers have been bred to remain crunchy and crisp even after the pickling process that's the biggest difference because when i first started i just planted a bunch of different kinds of cucumbers and i tried to make pickles with all of them and most of them were all mushy and i was like oh my god i had all these quarts i had like 40 quarts of pickles that were all mushy and i had no idea and uh, I, I was also growing some and I was giving them to all my neighbors and stuff without even trying them first and realizing that I, I was giving, giving them these pickling cucumbers that were actually really tough and, and not, they're not pleasant for fresh eating. And they, were, they almost got kind of bitter. So long uh, lesson learned, okay? So now, ensure that you have uh, uh, the difference. So plant your slicer cucumbers, okay? Something like the market more is a very delicious slicer. It's my favorite, it's just my favorite. So uh, I save seeds from it every year. Um, market more, that's a good one. There's a number of different good ones, but make sure that it's a slicer, okay? And plant a couple of those, and that will give you um, fresh cucumbers to eat throughout the summer. But also plant you some pickling cucumbers. And I'm in the Midwest, and so uh, I'm a few, couple hours away from Chicago, so I have the Chicago Pickling Cucumber. They also make a Boston Pickling Cucumber, which is more for that climate, even though it's relatively the same. Uh, but any of the pickling cucumbers, okay? And then plant you some plants of these. Now, because on this channel, we are gonna make the most divine pickles, okay? But these are not like these are not pickle brine pickles. These are lacto-fermented pickles that are going to be so good. I, I just can't even, it's like one of my most favorite things um, of the summer and to make. And they're packed with microorganisms and the good beneficial bacteria, all the good stuff is in them because we don't sterilize them. We don't, it, there's no vinegar on it that we're gonna use. These are lacto-fermented like sauerkraut. So they're just the best of the best. So get some pickling cucumbers, plant those now. Also get some slicer cucumbers, plant those now. Now you know the difference and what to expect from each, okay? Um, you'll have a way better experience eating fresh the slicer than the pickler. So that's pretty much it. Also, I just wanted to tell you real quick, we are gonna be doing some uh, uh, sauerkraut videos on this channel, definitely. So my favorite for early summer is the Glory of Einkusen. It's a fast, it's like 60, 70 days and they produce heads real fast. So plant some of that. Um, also the Brunswick, it takes longer. This is a better fall time cabbage, uh, but get planting some heads of cabbage because uh, I'm gonna show you how to make really good sauerkraut as well, okay? So, all right, my friends, hope you gained something from it. Give the video a thumbs up and share it with anyone that needs to know this knowledge.